When applying a traction splint, please refer to your local protocols. If you have a suspected femur fracture, you want to apply manual traction first. Please don't apply manual traction if there is a lower leg injury suspected. My partner will hold above the ankle and below the knee and apply manual traction. The traction splint should be fitted on the uninjured leg and brought over to the injured leg. Slip the traction splint underneath the patient's hip at the tubial, ischial tuberosity. Before you apply the traction splint, you want to make sure that you check for pulses in the foot, that the patient can feel you, and they can also move their toes. You need to apply the ischial strap, place some padding, There are four straps that need to be applied. The first one will go above where the suspected break is. The second one will go below where the break is, but above the knee. Third one will go below the knee. Last one. We'll go above the ankle, apply the ankle strap, and if you could move to your left. You're going to apply the hook for the traction and wind. Now you want to wind the traction and have mechanical traction take over where the manual traction leaves off. The patient should feel a reduction in pain. Okay, we have traction. Make sure you check once again for the pulse, motor, and sensory.